On the tail end of the uh, of the perioperative study, the MAGIC trial with the ECF, um, Albatron presented an ASCO of 2017, a very compelling and game-changing study, the FLOT trial, which is a phase two, three trial, looking at uh, epirubicin cisplatin 5-FU, which is the MAGIC ECF regimen, compared with FLOT. Uh, FLOT essentially is full FOX without the bolus 5-FU and a 24-hour infusion of uh, 5-FU. And in addition to that, docetaxel, or the T, is added. And patients are given uh, uh, two months of chemotherapy with FLOT prior to the surgery and then two months after. And what was uh, very impressive was the improved, uh, uh, what was really impressive was that was a higher pathological complete response rate with the FLOT regimen of up to 10 to 23% versus the 6% in the epirubicin cisplatin 5-FU regimen. And there was reduced grade three, four toxicity in the FLOT regimen. Um, the data is still accruing, but it looks like there's been improvement in survival from 30 to 50 months, which is also a very impressive number. Essentially making FLOT the perioperative therapy of choice if the patient were tolerated. It is a three drug regimen. We're all very aware of what we do when we have three drug regimens over two drug regimens in terms of toxicity. So patients who do not tolerate the FLOT, I generally give Folfox to them in the perioperative period, which also has good data uh, as a perioperative uh, regimen that works very well. Well, for gastric cancer, perioperative chemotherapy without radiation is an accepted global standard of care. And up until recently, the British regimen combining epirubicin, platinum, and 5-FU was the standard chemotherapy. The Germans uh, developed the FLOT regimen, which is a modified Folfox with the addition of docetaxel. And they had promising phase two data and tolerance from their uh, preoperative studies. They did a head-to-head -head comparison of FLOT versus uh, ECF or ECX in over 700 patients with GE junction and gastric cancers, and the primary uh, endpoint was overall survival. The FLOT regimen is given every two weeks for four cycles preoperatively and four cycles postoperatively compared to the standard uh, three uh, pre and three postoperative cycles of ECF. Uh, this trial was well conducted. Patients had endoscopic ultrasound staging, many had laparoscopic staging, and the majority had T3 or node positive cancers. And it was about a 50 50 distribution, 50% distribution of GE junction and distal gastric cancers. This was a positive trial. Uh, progression free survival was significantly improved from 18 to 30 months with FLOT, and median survival uh, was improved from uh, uh, in the 30 month range to 50 months with the FLOT regimen. All the other endpoints favored FLOT. There was a slight improvement in curative resection rate of about 8%, and uh, there were more uh, pathologic complete responses on the FLOT arm. Uh, so pretty much every endpoint uh, favored the FLOT regimen. Also, slightly more patients were node negative and earlier T stage. So putting that together, uh, in an appropriate patient that can tolerate three drug therapy, the FLOT regimen, I think, has become the new standard. It improved survival improved surgical outcomes and response compared to ECF alone. So I think for a distal gastric cancer, uh, the FLOT regimen should be the new standard of care. Toxicity management, the doses used on that trial were pretty high, uh, and uh, most patients, I think, will require dose reductions or growth factor support, but um, that can be individualized for each patient. There are always concerns that dose reduction may compromise efficacy. I'd have to say in three decades of practice, I've never seen that be the case. Most chemotherapy regimens are dosed much too high and we accept way too uh, significant toxicities. Uh, appropriate dose reductions probably should be made for this regimen uh, to try and minimize toxic effects.